Dear Lord, I'm sorry for disobeying you all this while. I'm ready to follow your will for my life. I will go to where you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. There is a mission house I want you to work with in Kenya. Lord, I don't have money to go there. How do I feed working in a mission field? Sell your restaurant. That will cover your plane ticket and other expense. I will take care of you in Kenya. Okay, Lord. I'll do exactly as you've instructed. I want to ask you a question, Mum. Are you still married to Dad? I can't have that discussion with you. Please, Mum. I need to know. Why don't you call him and ask? He is not saying anything to me. What are you both hiding? This is between me and your dad. You have nothing to worry about. Mum, please. Nicole, please, it's enough. Am I not taking care of you? What business do you have with the information you are requesting for? It is between two adults, so leave it. Come back here, Nicole. I refuse to get angry. I have a date tonight. This is my first date since I got to this country. I hope to have a nice time. You look more beautiful than your picture on Tinder. I think that's a good thing. You also look good. Have you always been in this country? No. I moved about a year ago with my daughter. You have a daughter. I mentioned it in our chat. I'm just kidding. I also have a son from a previous relationship. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, he is 15 years old. I own a big hotel not too far from here. Can we go there? What hotel is that? Royal Gate Hotel. You own Royal Gate? Yes, I do. Wow, I'm impressed. Let's go. I can't believe this beautiful place belongs to you. I really don't know how to sell this place. God please, help me to get a nice place for my food business. I want a nice location. I know that I can trust you completely. I'm getting tired of walking. I should get a coffee from my favorite shop. Who is knocking? Can't you see we are closed? Why is this person so persistent? What happened? Why are you closed? Mister. Joshua, I am selling off this place. Why? I am relocating. Are you sure it's the right thing to do? I'm actually following God's instruction. All right then. I'm interested. I want to buy the property. Are you sure? Do you want to start a food business? Yes. Wow. I'm happy to hear that. I'm ready to sell to you. That's good. I'll come with my lawyer. I miss you so much, Nicole. I miss you more, Dave. I wish Mum would allow me to come see you and Dad. I wish so too. How is Mum? She's fine. I guess she is out with her boyfriend. What did you just say? Mum has a boyfriend. Yes, she does. They see almost every night. Does that mean Mum and Dad are divorced? I really don't know. I asked Mum but she scolded me. I am not happy about this. I am going to ask Dad. Alright. It's late. I should be on my way home. Can't you sleep over? I have a child. This guy again. Who is that? It's nothing. I have to be on my way home. I'll take you home. Why is she not answering her phone? Dad, is mom still married to you? What sort of question is that? Nicole said mom is single man. Don't ever say that again. That is not possible. She is not seeing any man. She is with him as we speak. Is that why she is not picking my call? I don't want to believe so. Please go to your room. Dad is so naive. I honestly hope it is not true. It is true. She ah. is back. Thanks for bringing me home. Can I come in? No, my daughter is home. Okay, I love you. Good night. You scared me. It's past your bedtime. Why are you still awake? Are you cheating on dad? How dare you? Go inside your room right now. This man should stop calling me. I think I finally lost her. Excuse me. Yes. Hope you are enjoying your meal. I am. The french fries is the best. 
The coffee is also the best I ever had. I have ordered for more French fries. Can you make it two plates? I'll like to take it away. Sure. I'm glad you enjoyed the meal. Who is attending to table 5 and 8? Felix is attending to them. What about table 7? Ben is packing the order. Since you opened this place, I have been coming here from East Coast. Can you please open another outlet there? We love your meals. We would love to have it accessible. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Thank you father for the grace you have showed me in my food business. I started just two months ago and it's been from glory to glory. I see a need to open more outlets. I'll like to ask you Lord if I can go ahead. Yes you can go ahead. Thank you Lord. Oh. Jane's sister wants to see me. She is already in my house. Will you ever want to settle down with me? I can't really say yet. Don't you like me? Of course I do. So what's the problem? I have not finalized my divorce. I need more time to think. Okay. I'll give you all the time that you need. Thanks. Can we leave now? Yes. I forgot my wallet. Can you pay for the meal? This is the third time you are forgetting your wallet. I don't know why my son is always removing it from my pocket. Why should he do that? He is not a baby. I thought you said he is with his mum. He came over yesterday. Okay. Your phone is ringing. It is my sister. I'll call her when I get home. It's good to see you. Where have you been? I have not been fine. Why? Jane is my only sister. She has not been listening to me. She doesn't pick my calls. I am so worried about her. She left me and went to Canada with our daughter. I have been telling her to come back but she is not listening. I see some terrible things happening to her. God is not pleased with what she is doing. I know that God can't be pleased with it. I don't want anything terrible to happen to her and our daughter. She has totally abandoned me. I heard she has a new man she's seeing. We don't talk anymore. I am not sure she knows I'm now doing well in my business. This is not God's plan. I really want her to come back. I miss my wife. How are you Nicole? I am fine. Is your mom at home? No she's not. Can I wait for her? I don't think so. She's coming back late today. She's on night shift. She told me to wait for her. Okay. Good girl. Don't ever touch me like that. Is that not my daughter crying? Nicole, where are you? My baby, what is wrong? Why are you crying? This is making me sad. Please tell me whatever it is. Please my love, please talk to me. You know it's just the two of us in this country. Please let's go home mum. Is that why you are crying? That's not going to happen. This is our home now. Get used to this country already. Stop crying as though something terrible happened to you. Nonsense. Congratulations, Dad. This is a very beautiful place. Thank you, son. It's all the Lord's doing. I wish Mom and Nicole could be here. Nicole is not even picking my calls. I don't know what is wrong. She isn't returning my calls either. I always make sure to leave her a message. I think some of our guests are here. This is a beautiful place. Congratulations, Joshua. Thank you so much. You've done well for yourself. Congratulations. Thanks. You came. I'm glad you did. Why won't I be here? You are still my brother-in-law. Did you tell Jane? I sent her a text. She is yet to respond. It is well with her. Congratulations. Thanks. So Joshua opened a second restaurant in just few months of opening the first one. I am surprised. Where did he get the money to open it? Whatever. I still don't care. I'm not going to change my mind. I work here as a nurse. I have a very good pay. I am not going to settle for less. I think she is still alive. Thank God. The ambulance is on its way.
I am Jane, Nicole's mother. Please, where is my daughter? Can I see you in my office? I want to see my daughter, please. How is she? Is she okay? She is fine. Please come to my office. Please tell me the truth. How is my daughter? Do you know your daughter was molested? No, that's not possible. You don't know what you are saying. Your daughter committed suicide because she was molested. She was able to talk to me when she gained consciousness. She said she doesn't want to see you. That's not true. I want to see my daughter. No one molested her. I don't know who told you the nonsense you are talking about. Although she doesn't want to see you but I'll allow you to see her. My baby. I don't want to see you. Please get out. Don't you ever show your face here. Please. She is just recovering. You need to obey her. I can't leave my daughter. I need to know who did this to her. I don't want to believe it is that fool. I'll be back. Okay. I want to see the owner of this hotel. The who? I am sure you are not deaf. I said I want to meet the owner. This hotel is not owned by an individual. Don't you know me? I come here often with the owner. Is that what that guy told you? He is only a regular customer. He is not affiliated to the hotel. Oh no. Is he around though? He checked out this morning. No no no. He has ruined my life. I caused all these. I blame myself. That idiot raped my daughter and collected $50,000 from me. I wish I listened to my husband. I wish I didn't come to this country. I failed my daughter. I need to go back home. Please doctor, help me to tell my daughter that I'm ready to take her home to her father and brother. Okay, I'll do that. Dear Nicole. Doctor, I don't want to see her. I understand. Will you like to go back home to your dad and brother? Yes, I want to go home. I want to see my dad and brother. She is ready to take you home. She is really sorry for everything that happened. Thank you, doctor. You will be fine. My daughter, please forgive me for all I did. I am truly sorry for all you went through. I am sorry for separating you from your dad and brother. I am sorry for my nonchalant attitude. I have not been a great mum. I'm sorry, baby. My neck still hurts. My eyes are still swollen. You are going to be fine. The doctor said so. You just have to continue using your medication. What is going to that man? The police caught him yesterday. He is a serial rapist and fraud. I know it's all my fault. Please don't tell your father and brother. I am not going to hide anything from them. I need to heal. Your dad is never going to forgive me. Telling him is the only way I can forgive you. I can't keep it to myself. I almost died. I went to the lake at night to drown. I'm so sorry. You can tell them. Get out of my house. My daughter was raped in your care. Jane, get out. I'm sorry Joshua. Please forgive me. I said you should leave my house. Look at your face. I should take you to the hospital. I feel like a bad father. I shouldn't have allowed your mom to go with you. I'm sorry my baby. Jane. Mabel. I failed my family. I failed God. I am a failed parent. Joshua called me before you got here. He told me all that happened. I wish you listened Jane. God knows what is ahead. That is why it is always good to listen to him. The fact that there is a famine in the land does not mean God will not prosper you in the land. The fact that everything seems good in a country doesn't mean you can't lose everything you have there. Let me tell you a story in the Bible. It is the story of Naomi. Ruth 1. 1 to 6. 1. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. 2. The man's name was Elimelech, and his wife was Naomi. Their two sons were Malan and Kilian. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. 3. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. 4. The two sons married Moabite women. 
One married a woman named Orpah, and the other a woman named Ruth. But about ten years later, five both Malan and Kilian died. This left Naomi alone, without her two sons or her husband. Six then Naomi heard in Moab that the Lord had blessed his people in Judah by giving them good crops again. So Naomi and her daughters-in-law got ready to leave Moab to return to her homeland. You can see that Naomi lost her husband and her two sons because they left their home to another country. She had to go back to her home country after she had lost everything. For someone like Father Abraham, God specifically told him to leave his home. We must know what God is saying to us. Don't migrate because everyone is doing it. Find out what the plan of God is for your life before taking such decision. I wish I obeyed God. I didn't come back with anything. Ask God for forgiveness. It is God that can help you get your husband back. You really hurt Joshua. I know. I feel so bad. Can I stay here for a while? Yes you can. 